Welcome to Guns Gear Network, everyone. Appreciate you tuning in today. Going to bring you this tabletop review of a portable alarm brought to us by iSpy Defense. If you follow my channel, you know iSpy Defense have sent us some products, and uh, I did a review of some stun guns not long ago, and then I did a review of this uh, personal body alarm that I showed you how to turn into a uh, tripwire alarm. And they have sent us an IR version that is portable and wireless, um, and we're going to look at that now. So, what you're looking at, these are uh, alarm systems that are designed to work off of IR uh, or infrared. And you can either use them um, battery and or they do come with uh, AC adapters so you can plug them in and not have to worry about batteries. So if you're going off grid, you do have the battery option. If you're just using them around your home, you got uh, something like this. So where would something like this be practical? Um, it is practical in a lot of areas. And, and the reason I say that is even for just basic home use, let's say, for instance, you have a newborn baby and maybe you have a cat. Well, you want to make sure the cat's not getting in the uh, crib or something with your baby. You can set this alarm up at the uh, uh, nursery area where at the door. So if the cat goes in, you'll know it. Or maybe you've got a teenager that's being a little, uh, uh, you know, rambunctious and is sneaking out of the home and stuff like that. You could set something like this up. Maybe... Um, you know, you've got a dog. I had a cat one time that kept getting in my trash. He knew how to open the door to the pantry, and then he would um, get in the trash. Well, we actually had to put a lock on the door. Well, something like this, you could actually, because uh, I could never catch him. So that was the problem. He'd do it at night. Well, I couldn't, you know, scare him away or maybe break him of the habit. Something like this, you can actually set up to catch the uh, animal in the act and then sooner or later when they hear that alarm they'll know not to mess with it so you can kind of train animals with it and things like that um, like I said you can use it for obviously security purposes trying to keep people out of an area or out of a room or whatever the case maybe out of a hallway things like that so it has a lot of practical applications you can guard products or um, you know you know equipment and things like that also so I like that aspect I like the fact that they do not require a tripwire um, I discussed this in this video about the tripwire alarms they're great but the problem is unfortunately if the person misses the tripwire then it's not going to go off so and that can happen whether they step over it maybe they just time it right when they're walking to just not even touch it or whatever you know that kind of situation but with something like this, they don't need to. So these can be set close together or they can be set up to 60 feet apart, which is a good range. Um, the um, So they, they work in conjunction with one another, so you have to have both uh, because they use an hour uh, beam to run across uh, and then you have to break the beam. Only the one unit has the speaker system, the other unit does not. So also this both of them have this little light here that flashes so if you want it to be stealthy like at night you're going to have to cover this and i show this on this one i just took a simple piece of black duct tape and covered that hour light uh, that flashes i don't even think it's i'm mean, not hour just a regular led light that flashes to let you know these are on so you can cover that so if you want to be a little more stealthy and make sure people and you may want to leave it so people realize there's an alarm there depends on how you set it up but I like where people don't know there's an alarm most of the time. And uh, so it's they can't figure out a way around it. So these, you could set them high enough where they could go under it, or you could set it low enough where they could go over it. So keep that in mind. They have a sensitivity uh, selection here. So it depends on the distance you're setting these apart. So they have low, middle, and high. Depends on the distance. So obviously in low setting, you're setting them close together. High, you're setting them further apart. So you'll need to do that. They have three different modes as far as the alarm system itself uh, they have an alarm and they have chimes so they have one alarm and two chime settings and we'll kind of show you those here now so what you would do is make sure they're facing one another this one's already on I don't have this one on yet so I'm gonna flip this one in the on position and so if you see there's not doing anything they're not making any noise but if somebody would pass through them it goes off so I'll show you that again. So we cut them on, make sure they're lined up. And I'll show you this too. See that uh, light flashing? That stays on the entire time. So again, you would set them up like that. When somebody walked through the area and broke that beam, that's when it goes off. 
So you have that type setting and you also have this setting. I've got them set pretty close, so the sensitivity isn't designed to be this close, So, but I've tested it other distances and it's fine. So that alarm there just goes off like that, just kind of a simple let you know that somebody's coming maybe up your steps or something. And that's all it does. So it don't stay on continuously or anything like that. So then you have one more setting that's the same chime, but there is a different sequence. And it keeps going now. And I forget how long it'll repeat, but it'll repeat for a length of time and then it will, it will stop also. So you have three different options there. And then we'll go back to the actual alarm system. And it's fairly loud. Um, it's not like super loud. So you couldn't set this up like 100 yards away from camp. Maybe in the still of the night and there's no real noise, you can maybe hear that up to 100 yards away, but I wouldn't trust it that far away as far as being able to hear it. So this is going to be more in close proximity to your camp or you know your bug out location and stuff like that. But I do like the flexibility of these. A, I don't have to have a battery as long as I've got power, or I do have the option to run them off grid with the battery option so that's a good plus to have both of those situations i like the fact that i do not have to depend on a trip wire um, and i can just set them up basically anywhere i want if you want to camouflage them again you could paint them you could do a lot of different things again i would probably cover these lights like i said i've already showed you on this one um, and then i've already had this one cut out so i just simply uh, take and put over it like this and now you can't see the light. So that way it's not alarming somebody that, hey, what's that flashing light? And they figure out it's an alarm and they can figure out a way around it. But uh, yeah, I mean, good product here. Uh, you're looking at around the $50 price mark. So it's not super cheap, but not crazy expensive either. I think it's a, a great, for 50 bucks, it's a great tool in your toolbox uh, to secure things. Uh, I like the flexibility of having different types of alarms for different scenarios and different situations. Because, you know, again, you may not have the best situation to do a tripwire um, in certain, uh, in like, in a, like in a house or something like that, where something like this don't need that. And it works out perfect. So... I like the idea of having uh, something like this on hand that's uh, that versatile. But anyway, guys, I appreciate iSpy Defense for sending this out. Awesome little product here. I like it. And uh, I'll uh, post in the section below uh, their website so you can kind of take a look around at some products they have. they got a lot of neat products uh, when it comes to uh, security and things like that. So uh, to have a look around. And uh, again, I want to thank those folks for sending it out and all the other products that they've sent for us to take a look at. If you have any questions, you can post those below. If you got any comments, you can also post those below. If you like our videos, give us a thumbs up. That's greatly appreciated. It's over there in that section. Also in that section is the share button. Hit the share button. It helps us get the word out about Guns and Gear Network. Also, and more importantly, helps us get the word out about these awesome vendors like iSpy Defense that sends us these products for you guys to take a look at. As always, guys, like, share, and subscribe, and we'll bring another video shortly. Have a great day.